If you have a 2017 KTM or Husqvarna 250 or 300 two-stroke and you use a Kickstarter, uh, this is definitely one modification you want to consider doing sooner than later. So this is my 2017 KTM 250XC and as you can see I've got the clutch case off uh, because I'm halfway through uh, replacing the crankshaft oil seal. Uh, but I thought it was a good time uh, to also um, replace the idler gear bolt. Um, if I give some background into the issue I'm uh, trying to avoid, um, this is the idler gear. It engages with the kickstarter me mechanism when you kickstart the bike. And uh, some people have found on the 2017 model, uh, the area behind the idler gear, which this bolt engages into, is somewhat weak. And if you kick started a lot, um, the case can fracture and the idler gear uh, comes off with the case and uh, you obviously can't kick start then and you also need a, a new case. So that's obviously something you want to avoid. Um, I don't kick start my bike that often so I haven't uh, really thought of it as a high priority. But if you do kick start your bike a lot, uh, this is definitely something you'll want to, uh, to consider modifying. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to do the modification. To gain access to the idler gear, the easiest way is just to remove the clutch cover. So as you can see, I, I removed the clutch case, um, but you can just remove this cover and uh, gain access to that. So once you've removed the cover, uh, you can remove the clutch pack and then remove the hub. And I have a separate video on uh, overhauling the clutch so I'm not going to show that in this video uh, but if you're interested I'll put a link to that in the uh, video description. Um, once you've removed the uh, clutch hub uh, you can access the idler gear and this is held on with a M6 bolt and uh, it simply unbolts. It's not particularly high torque so it's relatively easy and just undo it. Okay, so you can see it's been held in with blue Loctite. Uh, so when I put the new one in, I'm going to use blue Loctite as well. And you can see how short it is. Uh, the actual measurement is 12 millimeters long. So a very short bolt. And I'm going to remove the idler gear. Okay, next you need to uh, work out what uh, bolt length you can use. Um, so I'm going to measure the hole depth. And it measures uh, just over 19.8 millimeters. And then the washer thickness is about 1.5. Uh, so the maximum bolt length you can use is uh, 21.3 millimeters. Um, I purchased a 20 millimeter long bolt, um, but I'm not going to be able to fully thread uh, the case. This is a, a, a blind hole. Um, so I want to make it shorter. Um, there's a, a very good uh, thread on KTM Torque. Uh, about this idler gear issue and uh, a number of people have suggested using 18 millimeter long bolt uh, so I think that's a good, good idea and uh, I, I'm going to shorten my 20 millimeter bolt by grinding a little bit off and make it 18. Okay so the next step is to uh, thread uh, this part of the case more fully as deep as possible um, and it's going to create some debris which you'll want to blow out and I'm going to cover this area uh, just with some air pack uh, so the debris doesn't make its way into the bearings etc. Okay so I've used some air pack to uh, cover the rest of the engine and some tape to seal it off and uh, this is the tap I'm going to use it's an M6 uh, 1.0 uh, thread pitch and I've modified the end slightly uh, ground off there was a sharp point on here I've ground that off so it can uh, thread as deeply as possible um, and uh, you want to use some oil when you're tapping and uh, really the most important part when you thread the uh, part is that you want to keep the tap uh, perpendicular to the hole so make sure it goes in straight and doesn't get cross threaded. So just do it slowly if you're not sure stop and start again and I can tell that's going in nicely now. So I'm just going to run it down until it uh, stops in the bottom of the hole.
Okay, I can tell now that's uh, fully bottomed out. Uh, so that's as deep as I'm going to be able to get the thread. So I'm going to take the tap out and then clean it out with some air. And another good reason to use some oil uh, when you're tapping is the oil catches uh, a lot of the debris um, so it doesn't uh, fall out and go everywhere. So I definitely recommend using some oil. Okay, I'm going to use a small amount of parts cleaner and then blow it out with the air gun. Okay, next I'm going to do a test fit of the new bolt. Uh, so I've ground it down um, to 18 millimeter length and uh, it's a 10.9 grade bolt, uh, so plenty strong enough. And uh, the thread is a 1.0 M6. So I'm just going to carefully uh, screw it in and uh, see how far it goes down. Okay, so I can see there, um, it's, uh, it's actually flush with the surface there. So that's not going to be any problem because the, the washer goes in between as well to uh, space it off. So it's going to be able to grip the washer nicely. Um, so I'm pleased with that. And I can go ahead with the reassembly. Okay, so I'm going to reassemble it now. And I, I'm applying a small amount of oil to the inner surface of the idler gear. And then install it. And next I'm ready to install the bolt and uh, should be careful the the washer has a uh, direction uh, if you look carefully there's actually a uh, line on here and that goes inside um, and then I'm going to use some Loctite 243 so medium strength and then install the bolt And then this bolt needs to be torqued uh, to 10 newton meters. Okay. And then check that it can move. And that looks good. Um, and uh, hopefully no problems. As I say, I don't kickstart my bike very much. Only really when it's really cold in the winter and uh, the battery gets a bit low. Um, but if you're kick-starting your bike a lot, this is definitely something you want to do. Okay, so that's the idler gear mod complete. Uh, you obviously need to reassemble the clutch, and as I mentioned before, I do have a separate video which goes into that in detail, uh, which you might like to check out if you're not sure. Um, also, I should mention that uh, this issue uh, only applies to 2017 models. Uh, 2018 models and later have a modified clutch case design and they use a longer bolt and I haven't heard of any failures in uh, 2018 and later. Anyway, uh, this mod is pretty easy to do and uh, definitely worth doing if you're going to be kickstarting uh, your 2017 model.